Hey, it's Dr. Larry Burks with Upper Cervical Clinic, part two of the anatomy of your upper cervical region. So last time we left off with talking about this hole right here in the base of your skull. This is your foramen magnum. So your brain sits right here in your skull, and right below the brain is your brain stem. That extends partially down into this foramen magnum hole. So your brain stem is the center of many different functions of your nervous system, but also the main conduit for all your nerves from your brain to go down through your body, send, sending signals to the rest of your organs, down to even the tiniest cells, and back up to the brain. So the communication highway is right through here at the brain stem. If you have a misalignment due to an injury, or possibly chronic stress, or maybe even toxins throughout your body due to the air you're breathing or the food you're taking in, a misalignment in the upper cervical spine can happen. Remember that there are no bony locks up here, so you have a lot of range of motion, but you can misalign. So when that happens, it decreases the size of that hole right there where your brainstem sits and can cause brainstem pressure. Now, if you were just to rotate back, no problem. But if it misaligns and gets stuck for maybe days, months, or even possibly years, that will decrease the nerve signals from your brain to the rest of your body. And somewhere in your body you're going to be dysfunctioning. Dysfunction uh, contributes to symptoms, and then symptoms are labeled as a condition. So, for instance, if you're misaligned, get stuck there, decreasing signals from your brain down to, say, your pancreas, you may show up with high glucose levels in your blood, meaning uh, you have symptoms of type 2 diabetes and might be uh, given the diagnosis of type 2 diabetes, when in reality it's a misalignment causing dysfunction. 